Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to the grocery store together with you and we see what we can buy in this store which is uh, the cheapest in Ukraine. So, let's go! This store is called ATB Market or ATB and this particular store is considered to be the most budget friendly of all the chain supermarkets. Also, it's far from being the biggest. There are such cute little cars here, it's very convenient in small stores, but we won't buy a lot, so we will take a small basket. Let's see how much water costs. Sparkling water. I remind you that the exchange rate of dollar to hryvnia is one dollar. It's uh, 38 hryvnias. That would be easier to count. We will consider that 40. In general, packet juices cost up to two dollars, but they're also for 60 cents. Of course, everything that our production is cheaper. For example, juices sadochok or uh, Nash Seek are two times cheaper than Sandora, for example. Everything with orange price tax is a discount, but in Ukraine it's a very common story when without discounts products cost the same as with discounts. Please write in the comments, do you also do this in stores or is it only us? There's a refrigerator on the side where they mostly sell beer. It's strange for me because in the summer when you go in to buy cold water from the fridge, it's not here, but there is beer. In fact, it's just cheaper here than in other stores, so it's probably popular. I haven't drunk alcohol at all in over 5 years, but let's see how much it costs. In general, the average price is about $1. There are all kinds of energizers and one kind of plane of usual water. There is a coffee machine, you can make coffee or tea and pay at the cash register. Actually, it costs, I mean, tea and coffee less than one dollar. Whoa, this is where I saw how much Nutella costs. Uh, I haven't bought it in a while. Uh, actually, it's about six dollars. And there's also a little section with their own baked goods. Of course, we're gonna get a lot of buns here. Actually, I usually go to the store with a list of everything I need. It keeps me from making unnecessary purchases, but not this time. So don't be surprised by the kit we are buying. All pastries here cost from 50 cents to one dollar on average. But it's time to move on. Actually, honestly, I don't like the store very much as it's always crowded. For example, it's morning and there are a lot of people here for the morning of the working day, as well as there are no self-service checkouts and everyone stands in line or queue. Bread costs about one dollar here, some cheaper, some more expensive, but in average it's uh, near, it's about one dollar. Next, we go to the fruit and vegetable department. The choice is not very big here, but let's see if there is something interesting. By the way, videos about other big supermarkets are on the channel, and links I will also leave in the description to this video. If you like me, like to watch videos about grocery stores in other countries, it's um, always interesting to see the difference in prices, sometimes for the most unexpected products. By the way, write in the comments what surprises you exactly on the prices of our products. In general, products in Ukraine have grown very much over the last uh, two years. Faster growing prices we have only for fuel, which still in the summer cost 20% less and prices continue to rise. Here is the canning department. I picked up some small cucumbers. I don't know what they are called in English. They cost a little less than $2. Avocado costs about 60 cents here. By the way, I started eating avocados only this year. I didn't like them before. 
but as far as I know it is very useful. By the way, I don't eat a lot of conventional foods like papers or eggplant, for example. By the way, this uh, supermarket uh, saw out Ukraine continue to operate in cities that were already occupied and under shelling as long as it was somehow possible. But let's not be sad, I got uh, mangoes, which I also only started eating this year. It cost about a dollar. Here, by the way, in fruits and vegetables, some prices are listed for the whole product and some for 100 grams or for one uh, kilogram. Cucumbers cost just under two dollars, but it's out of season. In season, which is summer here, they cost about fifty cents. Also, I remember a few years ago they cost ten cents. That's uh, what we grow in Ukraine. The two leaves are two times cheaper here than in other stores, but they are also three times less. It's not clear what there is to eat here. Pasta, noodles here cost from 70 cents to two dollars on average. By the way, let's look at how much groceries cost that I very rarely buy as they just rarely run out. Like flour, salt, I only buy citric acid to clean the kettle. By the way, do you know this trick? Just uh, add citric acid to the kettle and boil it. Then boil clean water once and your kettle is perfectly clean. Actually, I rarely do that since we use filters. In Ukraine, you can just drink water from the tap. It's of very poor quality for drink. So, flour costs about 50 cents a kilo and salt the same, it's 50 cents a kilo. Next, let's look at cereal prices. By the way, we have a lot of Polish goods in our stores and it's not surprising as we border Poland. But in this store I don't see them at all, it's strange. So, cereals. Cereal costs one to two dollars. By the way, buckwheat has become very cheap. Half a year ago it cost twice as much and was almost non-existent in the stores. Although before the full-scale war it cost two times less. But here the cheapest brands of cereals are sold and here buckwheat cost up to $80, although it's normal price, better quality buckwheat in two times more. Here I was showing my assistant my new, very, very soft sweater. In the meantime, you and I uh, are going to the cold departments, as I call them. I'm always reasoning in them uh, that the dairy, meat and fish departments, although I wouldn't even call them departments in this store, more like separate shelves. A good butter costs about two dollars. This is where I pick the cheese, but there's no average price here at all. If we talk about the prices for cheese in other stores, the average is $10 per kilogram. But of course, it's more expensive in packs. Then we are going to fish and the food department or shelves here too. I will not say what the average cost is, as fish can be different, so can the food. But for example, this a piece of red fish costs two dollars per 100 grams, if I'm not mistaken. My assistant said uh, that she loves uh, these baby puris. I don't like them at all. For me, only mashed potatoes can be mashed potatoes. There are coffees and teas here, but they cost differently depending on the brands. Mm, actually, you can see different prices for it. And there's a shelf where they put a lot of mayonnaise packs. It's probably just before the holidays, Christmas holidays, because in our families, especially if we talk about our grandmothers, grandfathers, everybody likes to add a lot of mayonnaise to salads. 
Then uh, we look uh, at the meat. Uh, meat, by the way, there's uh, no meat to choose from here. It's all pre-packaged. The average is 800 grams. I don't know why it's not a kilo here everywhere. I think it's about marketing. But in general, everything costs from 3, 4 to 6, 7 dollars for such bags. There's different fish, caviar too, but back to the more basic products, uh, for example, eggs. Eggs cost us about one and a half dollars for 10 uh, eggs pieces. Then, sunflower oil cost about one and a half dollars for 80 grams, but olive oil, which I used to use, has gone up a lot. Here I'm saying off camera that I'm shocked at the price of groceries I haven't bought in a long time. And we're gonna go look at some cereal uh, in Ukraine. By the way, cereal is not as popular as in other countries because they are considered to have a lot of sugar and they are not very healthy. Although, of course, there are different cereals. There's also a lot of candy bears. On average, they'll cost from mm, 30 cents to 80 cents in average. And here the two of us were in complete shock because the usual chocolate Santa Claus, which is half empty, cost three dollars, and a big Kinder is like six. There's certainly a lot of sweetness in correlation to other foods in the store and on the sand and in the packaging. And snacks too. By the way, in this store there are not only products, but also all sorts of interesting things for children, for the house, and as well as, of course, means for the house and the type of household chemicals. And actually, I want to ask you, uh, please write in the comments whether you like such videos when I take you with me in the store. It's kind of a semi-vlog format. And here in the video, I'm for you, here I'm at the alcohol department liquor store. The last time uh, when I looked uh, at the price of alcohol was five years ago or more. And the prices have gone up a lot, very much so. Just divide everything by 40 and you'll realize how much it costs in approximate dollars. Because there's everything here and the prices for the same alcohol can differ by 5 or even more times. Of course, again, it all depends on the brand and where it's produced in Ukraine or imported to us. Actually, this is where you really see the emotions of someone who hasn't looked at alcohol at all this whole time. And then I see a lot of brands have changed uh, their logos. And this is what we drank in my yards. Of course, it sounds weird in my yards, considering I'm not even uh, 30 yet. Okay, and here we decided to finish the olive oil shot. It costs about $8 for half a liter. Half a year ago it was twice as cheap. That's right, there's still beer left. By the way, as you can see, the cheapest beer is very popular here. The shelves are empty. It costs uh, about $1 for one liter, so it's really cheap.
Actually, the cheapest beer in Ukraine is Ukrainian made, but I can say that it's popular among our circle. For example, my husband and uh, his friends usually drink Carlsberg or something like that. And now let's get to the stuff. There are some strange regulations. Yes, they are certainly patriotic, but the quality is terrible and the logo of the cheapest supermarket in Ukraine and they cost uh, as in a normal store to buy normal regulation. Of course, lots of Christmas decor, can stores and all the usual household stuff we all buy. For example, this snowball for the house, you can draw on the windows with it, but to clean it, mm, still a pleasure. <laughs> There's all sorts of home goods here and then my assistant persuaded me to try a new dishwashing detergent. I don't care, it's not a big deal, so I'll take it. Actually, I'll show you my basket of junk at the checkout. Of course, there are plenty of soaps, shampoos, wipes and other normal necessities here. They even sell pots and organizers, different organizers here. And this is me and Nastya. Then we found some coloring books from our childhood and we discussed them so funny, very seriously. <laughs> but yes, we've seen it all, so it's time to go to the checkout. By the way, there were fewer people as the air raid began. Some stores are closing, this one isn't, and we usually look at the chats if they say that ballistics are flying. Then, of course, we quickly go to some urgent uh, places, uh, shelters. Uh, but if they say it's just another three hour training session, then no. As you can see in my cart, there is nothing particularly useful, but it's not the basis of my purchase. I also have a video about big purchases for a week on my channel. Usually we buy a lot of things in stores bigger than this, where there is more choice. Actually, you can pay with cash and card in all chain stores, but actually I think that the last time you can pay by card uh, in smaller stores too. Let's take a look at our check. And it all came out to just under 800 hryvnias, that's about $20. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video on my channel.